New in Pigments 5 from Arturia is the ability to route external audio input right into the Pigments engine. So that allows you to mix external inputs with synth sources and it transforms Pigments into a unique multi-effects engine. I'm Peter Kern for CDM and I'm going to show you how to use this feature plus some free presets that I built to get you started. First, let's take a look at where this functionality lives, as it's not so obvious. So in your host, you'll load up the Pigments Instrument plugin on a MIDI track, just like you normally would, and I get the default welcome patch. So if I select the Utility Engine and look under Noise 2, I see this option for audio input. So it, it's not actually going to be a noise source, it's going to be the external audio input. And you'll see the same thing if you're working in the standalone version of Pigments. I can select that and then go ahead and turn off Noise 1 and Engine 1 so I only hear that audio input. I'm not going to hear anything right away. So this is the instrument plugin, not an effect plugin, so I need a sound source. That means that, that I've got a sidechain audio into the instrument. Uh, I'll show you sidechaining in Ableton Live. It's going to be similar, uh, obviously, in whatever host that you're using. I've got Acid 5 here. Let's generate a sequence. And the second step, sidechain. I'll select the Acid 5 track, and I can go ahead and mute the source channel. For now, I just want to hear it through pigments. Now, we still don't hear anything yet. Now, that's because the external input is fed into the synthesis engine, so through its VCA section, its amplifier and amp envelope. In other words, you have to hold down a note. Just like playing the synth, you'll only hear sound when you have a, a note down, as if a note on event. This also means that you can use those MIDI note events to program in gating, uh, and you can layer your normal pigment synth voices on top. Uh, for now, I just want to use pigments as an effect, so I'll draw in one long note, and that will keep the amp open. It'll just keep repeating. And now I can hear that external input. Now what can I do with this? For one, I can route through pigments to filters. Acid 5 has just a conventional 303 style filter, so we can try it through pigments formant filter. And obviously all your function generators, modulation, envelopes, all work here. So it's it's really like having a modular setup. And we have the effects, all of their routing and modulation capabilities. Pigments 5 also has this new sequencer. I can use that with my effects presets too. Gate length is always going to apply to amplitude, so right away I'm going to hear gate on and off events and the gate length. So the sequencer's pitch and velocity lanes are, you know, obviously mapped into the synthesizer, but they're also available to map to other parameters. So I can just assign them to whatever I want. So for instance, I'll find pitch, it's labeled keyboard, and I could map that to the filter's cutoff frequency. Velocity I can also pick up and map somewhere else. Let's do that here. To get you started, we have some free presets. Uh, the, there's a default audio effects template that I built that just routes the audio. This, that's the first few steps that I showed you in the video, but this saves you the work of doing that every single time. You could duplicate that and modify it to include effects that you like to use a lot of the time. So you could also make your own templates. You'll only need to set up the side chaining in your DAW of choice. For one example, here's a preset that combines the sequencer and the low pass gate. Now the trick here was to map the VCA envelope to the filter level. So you set the level to zero, assign the modulation from the uh, VCA envelope amount, and that will open up the gate, open up the filter, any time that you uh, have an amplitude envelope. So that's the classic Buchla modular arrangement. 
And we've got stuff that you can apply to drums. You've got stuff that you can apply to instruments. I've been using this trick a whole bunch since I uh, started working on this. And uh, it's, it's a nice source of inspiration for something different, uh, not only to combine instruments and audio input, but also as a, a unique effect that you can add to all kinds of materials for some extra sauce. I hope that you enjoy it. Feel free to let me know in comments. Come check out the article on CDM, and I'll see you soon.